VISTA is a Virginia Initiative for Science Teaching and Achievement. It's a phenomenal opportunity for the Commonwealth of Virginia because for the next five years we're going to have the ability to focus on science teaching and learning for the children throughout Virginia. And it's a collaborative partnership of six universities, 47 school divisions, and the Virginia Department of Education to improve science teaching and learning for children. That I had before I came to Vista was it seemed it looked like I was doing the same thing every day in my classroom. Like, you know, maybe we'd throw in an experiment here or there, but the kids always knew what the outcome was supposed to be. Um, and it was a lot of notes and, and repetition, and it was just trying to get the material into their heads. Um, so, post Vista, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I think now that I can um, get them to start asking the questions and I understand how to have the student structure an experiment and then find their own outcome and, and what they think it should be. Okay, if you come over here, you would see some tests we did earlier. And, wow, this is the water sample we took. That looks pretty clear, but time may tell difference. And now I'm going to talk to you about the level of pH. Now, if you zoom in here, it looks like an 8. And that isn't the best, seven is the best, but eight is still really good for the water. This has four different kinds of professional development involved in the project. There's professional development for elementary school teachers, professional development for middle school and high school teachers, professional development for science coordinators, or in particular new science coordinators throughout the school divisions in Virginia, as well as the science education faculty throughout Virginia. Um, in college, I had taken some science methods courses, but it was a lot of the cookbook labs and the very just basic experiments that kids could do, and then I started teaching and got very bogged down with the curriculum and what needed to be covered and what was on the SOL tests and things like that. Um, science was never a strong point of mine, so it was an area that I was kind of scared to get into too much. Um, so I went to a lot of trainings, a lot of workshops, some other little conferences and got some great ideas, but it still ended up being, I give you a lab, you do it, we talk about it, everyone gets the same answer, we move on. Um, and what we're really focusing on is problem-based learning. It's a way that teaching of science is done differently in the classroom than traditional teaching. What you do in problem-based learning is you uh, the teacher will present a problem that you and a group of your peers uh, in the classroom, a group of your fellow students would be working on over a couple weeks of time. So it's not just do a quick activity today, it's a larger problem, science problem that the students would be investigating and they would be doing a fair amount of open-ended free exploration of this but continually guided by the teacher as they're heading toward figuring out what are the challenges with, with solving these problems. Going through the process of the PBL with the camp kids, I think a lot of the times I was spending so much time in class just talking, 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 whereas I wasn't doing the planning ahead of time. And once you are planned ahead of time you come into class, you don't have to say very much. And so I learned that really if you're planned well, the kids kind of do the teaching for themselves. For all four of these professional development programs, there's different problems that the teachers face uh, coming into the program. For example, our typical elementary school teacher does not have a strong background in science um, and, they're, and also not a strong background in how to teach science. So those are the two major focuses in our program is helping them to learn more science as well as how to teach science. Um, I think a program like VISTA is important because um, sometimes I think as teachers we tend to do what we're comfortable with or what we know has worked in the past and sometimes we just get tunnel vision and we don't really look around to see, see other ideas or other ways of doing something. Um, so this really has opened my eyes to a completely different way of teaching, um, which is a little scary and uh, it's a lot of hard work, but I think in the end it's really going to pay off and it's going to be very exciting to see how it works this year in the classroom. By, by giving a scenario and giving a kid a role to play, you've just made them interested in science even if it's a topic that they don't care about at all, I mean, they become engaged and they, it's like, oh, cool, I want to do that.